Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Vlog 321. I'm here in IKEA in the daytime for once with Mark. Yo, yo, What's yo. Up? You gotta check out his vlog channel, it's in the description below. But basically, we're here to buy his, um, what is it? A shelf? A shelf. <laughs> yeah, buy a shelf. I'm not buying anything. I'm gonna be well behaved today because I buy too much stuff normally. As you guys know, I always come in here and buy like one light bulb, one table, another table. Oh, yeah, and look at his vlogging rig. It's like true Casey Neistat stuff. Muligu. $49.95, that's like my entire IKEA meal budget for a week. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> I don't invite many people to the studio anymore, but he's here now. Oh, by the way, almost, almost there. <laughs> Actually, no, this is wrong. That's better. Almost there. Probably like three more days and then I can get to 2000 but... <laughs> All right, Mark's just left. Uh, I met Mark on YouTube because he makes videos as well and he's just getting into it and he just wanted to like have a bit of a chat so I was like sure and then I was like I usually eat at IKEA every day and he was like Haha, let's go to IKEA. So we went to IKEA for lunch but it's good it means I can come back here and just get back to work so now I'm gonna do Rob's work, but uh, nice meeting you, Mark, if you're watching. Thanks for coming. And yeah, as you can see, the setup is working really, really well. I ordered some RGB bulbs last night so that we can replace these yellow ones, but it's nice. It's quite nice. Oh, all right, let's do it. <laughs> Looks like there's a few more people now instead of just me. We've got Jet. Yeah, boy. And we've also got old mate Gip Chan, who is a percussionist in Hong Kong. I hope I get to meet Gip. He seems like a really nice guy. This is getting longer. Hopefully, I still have a chance, huh? That note, there's a specific... No, there's a specific... Look at all them cuts. All right, we just finished Rob's video, but I'm just going to watch it again just to make sure it's good. But hopefully that means I can send the draft off to him today. Today's Friday, he's going to release it on Monday. So we're looking pretty good. Yes. Not going to get to audition day and feel that feeling of like, oh no, I forgot to study Beethoven. You know that feeling. I know you know that feeling. I feel that feeling all the time. It's finally going up. It's been a long few hours. I just finished filming a Q&A right here. There's still one softbox over here, but... Yeah, I just finished filming the Q&A segment because I think we're going to reach 2,000 subscribers by next week. So I want to have a Q&A video ready for that. And that's my first video filmed and I want to film another video about that marimba. Jackson's 4 and a 3rd octave marimba because I think it's a really cool marimba. It's really cheap, it's really affordable, much more affordable than mine, which is really expensive. <laughs> yeah, that'll be really cool. But right now, I'm just going to wait for this to upload and then it's time to eat. Wow, so Mark has already featured me on his channel. Have a look at this. It's me. Oh, man. Making a vlog about my studio. He made a vlog about my studio and it's covering stuff like my marimba and stuff. I just talked a bit about my marimba. <laughs> so yeah, check out Mark if you haven't already. His channel's in the description below. But yeah, he's a nice guy and nice to see you today, Mark. He's an architecture student. He finished architecture at UWA, so same university as me. Architecture seems like a pretty cool gig. Right, I'm pretty hungry. Give me some bagel crisps. Yeah. I hope these actually taste decent. Uh, how do you open this? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's like a piece of bread. All right. Oh my god. This is really good. It's like garlic bread, but a version that you can actually keep. Wow! These were only $2 and they taste so good. Oh yeah. I think we'll go green for the bagel crisps. These clips are lifesavers. Alright, bagel crisps aren't going to cut it for dinner. I'm just going to go to the supermarket real quick and get something hell easy so that we can get back to that video. I want to finish filming that, then I want to practice what I'm going to say on Sunday again. Oh, we've just gone up by another subscriber. Come on, 2000 Cheap meal for less than $10. A little price of $8.70, we have all of this stuff. I was going to go to Nando's. I was this close to going to Nando's. Because I already went to Ikea this morning and I've been going to Ikea all week. So I thought I might give the Ikea thing a bit of a rest. <laughs> okay, it's now 8 o'clock, which means it's time to start filming. So we're going to move all this stuff around and we're going to put them over there. Let's do it. Whoa! 
brings a This is a lot harder than I expected. <laughs> I don't think shooting that was as difficult as this. This instrument is so small, like, it's so hard. All right, change of plan. I've cleared the entire stage area, if you like. This is the first time in a long time that I've used the entire width of the room. But I think that's the only way I'm gonna get the wide shot. Cause right now, like when I put the camera over there and did the wide shot this way, it just wasn't enough room. So if I rotate this thing, well, if I rotate this sideways like this, Come on, come on, yep. And then try shooting from this side. Hopefully we can get a little bit more variance. I don't know. <sighs> All right, you know what? Maybe I will make a cheap versus expensive room. <laughs> like, just look how cool that looks. It's like a Marimba battle shot. That looks freaking awesome. I think I might make this video a cheap versus expensive Marimba thing. And yeah, screw the haters. <laughs> oh, this looks ridiculous. Have a look at what it looks like on the camera. This is ridiculous. This is gonna be a really cool video. Okay, so now I want to do a product shot of the 4 and the 3rd, but like, as you can see in the camera viewfinder, leaving the Marimba 1 Marimba in the background is very obvious, it looks really weird. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to move the 4 and the 3rd out to here, and then film that one first. This is ridiculous, I'm having to use the entire space of the studio to get this thing to work, but it'll work, I promise. Also, 1,959, nice! <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, so now I've decided that I'm going to film the sound test for each marimba. So I'm going to film them using the same mouse. But the annoying thing is I'm going to have to move that microphone there. I have to move my little lag table recording setup there. I have to unplug my laptop and put it over there. And then it's going to be so <laughs> troublesome. Oh man, this is going to be a long ass shoot. And it's already 10.30. I really want to finish this. So let's go. <laughs> Do it. Okay, it's almost reaching 11 o'clock. That's all the filming done for the Izzy. Now we gotta switch them over. <laughs> Yes, all right, I've just finished the studio shoot. That's a wrap, finally. That's my face in the viewfinder. You can see, look, I am just so tired. I've been doing this since eight o'clock and it's now just hit 12 o'clock and it is my cue to go home. I'm sitting in between these two marimbas. I look pretty cool, right? <laughs> Not really. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I really appreciate it. I know my vlog channel is a little bit neglected compared to the studio channel, but the studio channel does pay, so I do have to spend more time on that. But thank you for sticking with me. And I will see you guys next time in another vlog. So thank you so much for watching. And I'm so glad to be done with this shoot. Good night. <laughs>